Um, I'm Michael Toak. I um, grew up in uh, Hamilton, Ontario, and uh, went to the Ontario College of Art and Sheridan College in the 80s. And then um, I'm sort of a mixture of uh, two worlds, filmmaking and, and uh, art together. And my practice is really intertwined in that sort of uh, manner. Uh, when I close my eyes, I see numbers. Um, comes from a vision uh, uh, way of working. I was doing research on uh, numbers uh, and belief systems, how we think about uh, numbers, and then I started uh, running indoors at the gym um, rather than outdoors because it was winter time. I go on the elliptical and uh, uh, after about 32 minutes, you can close your eyes on the elliptical, and um, after about 32 minutes, your body releases wonderful drugs, um, uh, endorphins, um, and uh, you get high. You really do, and it's wonderful. And uh, through this, uh, through this, I started envisioning numbers smashing together. Every single painting in here comes out from one of the hallucinations that happens after this. And after a while, you know you become like a junkie for it and the hallucinations started happening after 10 minutes or whatever but I, I uh, you know, I rigorously, you know, it's not perfectly scientific but rigorously uh, would record what was going on, how it was going on, what I was doing at the time, if things worked out and uh, so the, th the show seemed that it had to be named. Um, when I close my eyes I see numbers. The way the works came about is uh, transferring from a hallucination in your head or as anybody knows in a dream the logic doesn't work out in the world and uh, so it's a process of making studies sketches and there's a lot of small pieces in here specifically um, I get obsessed with the number eight and I like to indulge that even though I am a rational person and I want it to <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I want things to uh, have real and true ways. I've got this part, like every human being, that just wants to indulge its obsessive ways. So I saw the hallucinations and then I worked. And this, this way I've been working uh, for a while. Um, the studies are all done in a fresco uh, manner. Um, there's acrylic involved, but the same chemical bonds happen. So they're very uh, stable, uh, fast ways of working. It sucks right into the uh, plaster. And uh, so I keep on going until the vision comes out. But it's always broken and wrong because there is no translating four-dimensional hallucinogenic space into reality in two dimensions. So this is why I end up approaching it from so many different angles to see if you can get something that is close to uh, what you're thinking about. And so I thought with this, I've dealt with luck in the past and, and different ideas and contradicting uh, belief systems, but um, with numbers I thought, here is a very rational uh, thing and I can um, uh, indulge people's irrationality with the complete rationality of uh, numbers, juxtapose this and be able to always bring people back and to say, well, this stands for something that is very realistic and rational and our favoritism for, for certain numbers and our likes or or dislikes on the shapes or whether they think that this number is frightening this number is friendly this number is uh, um, uh, you know sexual um, masculine feminine um, all of the ideas we put on is so much easier to break down and as in any way of working with uh, art it is best to simplify and uh, in order to get any information at the other side yeah.